Hello, and welcome to our video on the 2007 film Normal, directed by Carl Bessai. This thought-provoking film explores the complexities of grief and loss through the eyes of two families, dealing with the aftermath of a tragic accident. Starring Carrie Ann Moss and Callum Keith Rennie, Normal delves deep into the human experience of dealing with the loss of a loved one. Join us as we take a closer look at the themes and symbolism of this powerful film, and gain a deeper understanding of the human condition. So grab some popcorn, Sit back and let's dive into the movie. At the beginning of the movie, we see Catherine. She was very sad. In fact, her eldest son died in a car accident a few days ago. Their eldest son was named Nikki. Meanwhile, we see Nikki's friend Jordy. Jordy was also very sad. In fact, the day Nikki's car accident happened, Jordy was with Nikki. Jordy was not at fault, but he feels responsible for Nikki's death. Meanwhile, Jordy's father was very rich. He didn't like Jordy that much because Jordy was unemployed. The next day his father says you get a job within seven days or else leave this house. In fact, Jordy's father thinks Jordy may not want to take any responsibility. Meanwhile, we see Jordy's stepmother. She likes Jordy very much. His stepmother's name was Elise. Jordy thinks Elise may have married her father for money. Meanwhile, we see Catherine who could not come out of the grief of her eldest son's death. She tells her younger son you must be a basketball player like your brother. Actually, Catherine loved her eldest son a little more. Meanwhile, Jordy needs to get a job, so he starts working at Domino's. Jordy never had a girlfriend. He was masturbating sitting in the room, but suddenly his stepmother Elise came there. Elise saw this and left without knowing what to say. There was no privacy at home, so Jordy sat in a park and was suddenly met by Abby. Actually, Abby was his college friend. Abby asks about her condition, but Jordy ignores Abby. Realizing this, Abby was about to leave, but then Jordy came and started talking to her nicely. Abby says there's a party on Saturday night. Will you come? It will be very fun. Jordy says yes, of course. Jordy returns home and goes to Elise's room to find Elise. Elise had nothing on. Jordy doesn't leave there. He approaches Elise and starts touching her. Elise doesn't stop him either. Actually, she wanted Jordy too. Then they are intimate. Actually, Elise was not happy with Jordy's father. However, they complete the job. Suddenly Jordy's father comes home. Jordy doesn't get a chance to escape Elise's room. He goes to the bathroom and hides. Elise Elise says my head hurts a little, so I'm lying down. Jordy's dad tells him I'm coming from the bathroom, but Elise won't let him go. She starts being intimate with him. Jordy escapes from there at this opportunity. Jordy then gets intimate with Elise whenever he gets the chance. Elise was also very happy with Jordy. Abby visits Jordy when Jordy works at Domino's. Abby says there's a rug tonight. Do you remember? Jordy says yes but I won't go to the party. You can come with me to my house if you want. Abby agrees. Actually, Abby loved Jordy and Jordy brought her to his room and started being intimate. But suddenly Elise came there and said, you didn't introduce me to your friend. Abby says I'm Jordy's college friend. Actually, Elise was very angry with Jordy. Elise doesn't want Jordy to be with anyone else. After Elise leaves, Jordy tells Abby to please get out of here. I will see you tomorrow. Abby feels a little bad but she leaves. The next day they met again. Actually, Jordy also wanted Abby. Abby says, did you meet Nikki's mom after Nikki's death? Jordy says no. I dare not meet Nick's mother. Abby says you need to meet, you will feel better. Anyway, they come to each other and become intimate. The manager where Jordy worked was very annoying. He always says to Jordy, why do you do so much slow work? Act quickly. In fact, the manager yelled at Jordy every day. Jordy left work today in anger. Meanwhile, Abby was waiting for him. They had fun. When Jordy returns home, Elise is very angry, because now Jordy no longer gives time to Elise. Elise tries to talk to Jordy about this, but Jordy doesn't listen because Jordy wants Abby now. Seeing all this Elise is very angry. She comes and tells her husband the truth, about what happened between her and Jordy. At night when Jordy comes home, then his father beat him very much. Jordy is not silent either. He also raised his hands on his father, and there was a fierce fight, but now they will no longer be with each other. Jordy's father was very injured, so Elise took him to the hospital. Jordy also realizes he has made a big mistake, and he can't stay in this house anymore. Anyway, Jordy comes to stay with Abby with all his stuff. In conclusion, the 2007 film Normal directed by Carl Bessai is a powerful and thought-provoking movie, 
that delves into the complexities of human relationships and the impact of loss and grief. The film's strong performances and nuanced storytelling make it a must-watch for fans of indie cinema. Thanks for watching our video on Normal, and we hope you enjoyed the analysis and explanation of the film. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more movie reviews and explanations. See you in the next video.